Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be doing some more early access for the new Grown Together expansion pack. This video is brought to you by the EA Creator Network as I've been able to get it early. It's not paid. I just get to explore it a little bit earlier. So I'm mega excited to delve a little bit deeper into some gameplay aspects of it. So let's just crack straight on with it. We're going to go back into our family that we've used for the other early access and see what milestones we can explore a little bit deeper. Before we get into this, if you haven't seen my first look at the infants at the grown together packs definitely recommend them they were posted earlier this week so check those out but in those videos we didn't explore lila riding a bike she did however try on her own but let's have a little look and get granddad to teach her to ride a bike so as we can see at the minute she's kind of she's struggling uh she can't get her feeties on the pedals yet she's kind of using them to push herself along granddad's proper fruit in her arm bless him i wonder if when she reaches a high emotion to skill if she'll improve so she's getting close to level three so let's see if that goes up okay level three motor skill and she's still kind of faffing about with the ride in here she's feeling confident though today she started with a neutral confidence so we'll see if that level changes so the sims children now have a confidence system so it'll be interesting to see how that kind of develops so at the minute she's feeling as though she can't she's lost confidence what if she becomes a failure what if everyone thinks that she already is so she is struggling a little bit as she started with massive confidence and has now gone down so that's going to be interesting to develop as well also great for storytelling purposes and things like that oh what happened Gordon unlocked a laugh milestone. So the milestones, I believe, are in the base game update, I want to say. I think the milestones are in the base game update. So now, if you go into your genealogy, your simology, you can go ahead and view milestones. And if you have had, like, if you've worked with that sim since they were an infant, you'll be able to go back and see all of their milestones. But little baby Gordon here just had his first laugh. So these are things that we've watched him achieve in my first look videos so check those out but just now he learned to laugh eyes sparkling with joy he laughed at something funny so i wonder like how many more milestones there are to achieve now i know that with this pack as well you get certain things for reaching certain milestones so for example when you get married you now apparently get like a marriage certificate when you lose a tooth which comes with growing together you get a little certificate saying this certificate was awarded to lila for losing her first baby tooth there are things that can happen as well so at school lila can bring home drawings and that is with the new growing together pack as well i'm intrigued into this nappy dealio so i'm just gonna remove this and i want to see if when you change the baby's nappy if it does actually go on the floor because i've not seen that yet so granddad's now going to go and change the baby's infant but we no longer have a diaper bin so what happens now let's wait and see alexander goff first visitor's milestone knock knock Gordon's first visitor. He finally met another sim outside of his household. Oh, I didn't even know that was a milestone. Oh, look, there's the baby diaper on the floor. Diaper trash. So now, instead of popping it in the bin, somebody's got to clean this up. So let's go ahead and throw that away. Yeah, so as you do a lot more of the gameplay, you're going to be able to unlock so many more milestones, which is great. Since little Gordon can now sit up as well, he is able to be scooted or scoot. I think. Let's see. Ah, there you go. That was what the baby was doing in the thumbnail, scooting. Um, or in the trailer is what I mean. So is that like, does that help them learn to crawl? I mean, we'll get him to keep doing that and just see what happens. How dare you put me down? The warmth and comfort is absent and now it feels like the end of the world. Oh no. Okay, so I would like for her to try and start romancing somebody. Let's invite Carl over because he's the only other male that we know or at least the only other person that is outside the household and is not in a relationship. So let's invite him round. I know we have just sent him home from being able to live in our household and stay with us. Oh, Gordon reached a grab milestone. He managed to pick up and grab onto something for the first time. Continue to play with toys to strengthen fine motor development. Are you ready to start this stay over? Oh, I forgot that I said that Mortimer Goff could stay over. Okay, so let's try and romance this guy. It's going to be very hard without my mods. But let's do some pickup lines. Share Sansa Sequoia secrets. Oh, 
the child what is the child doing oh okay so the infants can play with different bits like this as well much like the toddlers can i believe as well now other sims can insinuate things so other sims can like start stuff so in the past to like move into another household with somebody or to get married or to do things like that you always had to be what the one to initiate it whereas now from what i can sense other sims will be able to like take that initiative and invite you to move into their household or different things like that so that's going to be super fun don't do your dishes in that splash pad thing at the park went out there for a sort of simstagram hashtag simple liver moment ended up with a bunch of dogs fighting with me for scraps while some scandalized mums glared at me extremely bad vibes speaking of which we do need to go and check that out okay our flirts aren't working do you know what we need to do let's take some pictures together and try and get our friendship up please say this works. Why is he so sad? Because he got kicked out. At least he's not as sad in all the pictures. Oh, that's very posy. Ew. So our friendship bar is good. Let's take some more pictures with him and see if that goes up. Ooh, hold on a minute. So they do have good compatibility. Based on their preferences, these sims have pretty good compatibility. They may not become best friends, but it won't be a challenge for them to get along. So that of course comes with the growing together pack as well. Right, let's go ahead and ask him to go on a date. And we'll use this to explore the local area, I think. Okay, so we could go to the library or we could go to the rec center. I would like to have a little look at this splash pad because we've seen it from a distance, but we've not explored it fully so let's have a little look and maybe i can bring our kiddos there just to just to kind of see just come on this date with us okay so this is where the splash pad is let's go over here okay so lila is able to play in the water but is he is the little toddler able to practice standing oh we're gonna have to do that today okay this date went really well we're having our first kiss okay we love that for her and Kyle. Kyle Kyleson is his name, if you did not know. Where are they going? They're returning to active lot. Let's ask him to be our boyfriend first. Oh my god, my poor child is just on the floor. Where's the other one? They need to go home. Why can't the sim go home? My baby is just on the floor in a splash pad. Oh dear. Wait, where is she going? Okay, how do we can we end the date early? Yay! Okay, we had a legendary date. Let's all go home. Okay, things are going good with Kyle. I'm interested to wait and see if he makes some sort of like proposal or if we have to be the ones to do it but when we get home we will start going through with some new milestones maybe with the infant let's practice standing so this baby can now sit up but i've been intrigued to see him trying to stand oh she's about to pass out oh no lovely wonderful oh it is one in the morning to be fair to her so let's all go ahead and get some sleepies oh granddad's not sleepy maybe he can work on the standing i love how the kids just like watching mum. like mum, your butt's in the air okay let's go ahead and granddad you can go and practice some standing with gordon because then i wonder if then as an infant if they can walk or do they have to wait until they're toddlers so i Oh, there we go. Standing on his little feeties for the first time. Will we actually be able to see like his first steps? I wonder if that's a thing. I also know that at work you can have like enemies and you can basically have like rivalries and stuff at work. But I haven't noticed any of that with Sylvia yet. She's been at work for like a fair few days. So maybe it will come. But that's going to be fun to explore. So now in terms of Sylvia, her milestone, she's had her first energy failure. She is started a romantic relationship as well and she has fallen in love so these are a couple of her first milestones it's gonna be really cool and i think for story building purposes the milestones are gonna be great because you can kind of reminisce and you can go back and look at things that you might have done with your kid or romances that you had in like high school as you, when you're an adult with like somebody completely new there's just so many different ways to take this and i yeah i can't wait for it i can't wait to like add it into my gameplay series and yeah it's gonna be good fun now i am wondering so sylvia is now in a not so good mood her needs are quite dire um and she's kind of in need of a lot of things although she's feeling happy in general but she has got work in three hours so i'm like if we send her to work in a unhappy mood is that going to affect her work performance could she potentially make a rival out of somebody what how is it going to work um, okay so with the new update the new base game update your sims now have options where they
they can get extra traits. So instead of just having three traits now that is just given to in cast, you will get those three traits, but through doing different things and just living your life, they can embrace the change and they can like add traits to those three as well. So if we now say yes, we'll see that she's discovered a new personality trait. Learn about this new trait in the trait section of the Symology panel. So not only now are we family oriented, romantic and childish, but we now have the neat trait. And I believe your Sims can unlock up to like three. I want to say new traits. It's up to six, up to six new self-discovery traits, which is really, really cool. So adds a bit more depth to your Sims as well, gives them a little bit more of a personality because three traits are cool and everything, but having more just, yeah, extends what you can really do with them. Because obviously some of the traits I feel like aren't traits, you know, for example, the lactose intolerant, like that shouldn't fill up a trait space, should it? In my opinion. So it would be great to have those new self-discovery traits. Sylvia's gone to work she's in a happy mood but she is like shattered so let's have her work hard and let's just see what happens there are new career like options so new stories new things that can go go wrong at work so yeah i really want us to get one of them just so we can kind of show show it as an example i love the fact with the infants down here as well it kind of shows you what you should be working on next so for example now that gordon has learned to grab and he's learned to reach if you keep going along with like playing with gordon and playing on the play mat he'll then be able to put his toe in his mouth and if you keep practicing tummy time he'll learn to creep which i don't know what creeping is is that like nearly crawling kind of thing we've got social as well where he can learn to babble so i'm gonna go ahead and get granddad to take little gordon but i want to kind of meet some of the people that live in the nearby houses and stuff just to get to know who the townies are so let's go and see the robles first they live up in this lot in anchor point wharf and yeah let's learn a little bit more about them see if we can chit chat to them about santa Quaya, learn some things about the area let's find out Ooh, look at this house. That is a gorgeous build. So I do believe some Simmers did make the majority of the houses that come with this pack. I believe it's Lil Simsy, Deligracy, and another content creator that I can't remember their name right now, but that is a brilliant, brilliant house. Wow, look at this. This is stunning. I love like the color schemes used in here as well. It's, it's two floor, is it? Yeah, two-story house. Really cute. I love that it's separated into two different builds as well. I wonder if there's a story behind this. I'm intrigued now. So the Robles family is pretty entrenched in this community. They've been here ever since the fishing trade started taking off and for years had a thriving family business. Ignacio is the patriarch of this family, this guy, but just because they have deep roots doesn't make them all that conventional. They know everyone and anyone and love being a part of everything this community has to offer. From spending way too much of their free time down by the waterfront to organizing big family gatherings at Gilbert Gardens Park. So we've got Ignacio, Bernice, Ian and Aurelio. Okay. So Ignacio is the one that is downstairs and he's like the patriarch of this family. So let's see, can we ask him about San Sequoia? Oh, we're just gonna... <laughs> you are not allowed to look at your PC. And little Gordon just unlocked the Babble Milestone. Blah, blah, dag, dag. Is that simlish? Not quite, but getting close. He's starting to communicate his feelings and socializing with more Sims as well as stuffed animals will help with full words. Okay, so we can share San Sequoia secrets with him. Him. can we let's see stories we can reminisce we can swap baby milestone stories new interactions there we can do small talk i love the new menu as well it's really really good and it's nice to have it all separated because otherwise you were just clicking and clicking and trying to find what you wanted to look about or look for so yeah we can share the secrets but we can't actually you'd think with him you know being here in this fishing town and whatnot you would be able to talk about the fishing town hmm we can discuss local fishing spots but that's nothing new i like to put a lot of energy into community work i suppose i could put my time into other hobbies more often but it matters to me to make this place a good place to raise my family my great grandpa saw a lot of potential here when he first moved out to start a fishing trade and i intend to keep that legacy going okay so you can find out like different things about different families to an extent so that 
is good to know. Anchor Point Abode is a rental. We've also got the Michelson family living here. This looks like a massive lot. Let's read up about them. So Celeste and Christopher met working at the same startup. They couldn't believe how much they had in common when they first went out for coffee together. After they got married, they adopted Atlas and promptly began spoiling him rotten. Now they've also adopted Orion and are hard at work raising two kids to be just as nerdy as they are. Ah! Okay, so this is the family that was in the trailer and in the gameplay trailer as well, I believe. Um, so that's really cool. Let's have a little look at their family home and say hello to them. Yeah, this is the house that was in the trailer as well, isn't it? I thought originally that Kayla built this house because it is your classic blue suburban, but apparently it's it wasn't built by Kayla. It's a stunning house. I love this back garden as well. A really nice little area for your family to go and have like barbecues, a little pool... Um, a splash park kind of dealio going on. Ooh, do you know what? I'm loving the pop of pink in this dining room space. This is lush. Really, really nice. Okay, let's introduce ourselves. So is this, this isn't the house that was in the trailer, is it? No, I feel as though it was a different house. I think sometimes with the trailers and stuff, obviously they build a house for the purpose of recording the trailer and having the gameplay. Oh, look, can we like, can we introduce our infant to their infant? Is that a thing? I hope so. But yeah, as I say, with the trailers, they, they create these different sort of houses, but when they are, adding them into the game for people to use. They want it to be like usable by everyone. Um, but this house is still gorgeous. It is still super gorgeous. Okay, we're checking on our infant, but I don't think we can like, let's bring you inside. Can we not introduce you to the other child? Yeah, so we can introduce him to Celeste, but we can't introduce him to the, to the other infant. <gasps> Wait, we can. Okay, they can, if he goes and babble, this child's crawling. Are we crawling? No, I don't think we are. Granddad, can you just put us down? Oh, look at him. He's touching his little toesies. They look so funny when they're doing that. Okay, they can sort of babble together. That's really cute. We actually can't crawl yet though, can we? How do we learn to crawl? We can practice standing and maybe tummy time will help. I think the ones that have the little, the award thing next to it are things that will help you advance with your milestones, I believe. Oh, okay. So we did some tummy time with Gordon and he can now hold his weight on all fours. A tricky step before he can learn to crawl. Now is a great time to practice crawling to take it a step further. Okay, cool. That baby's like passed out while Gordon's there screaming, doing tummy time, the difference in those little babies. Okay, another family that we have are the Luna Sullivan family. They live down here. And the Luna Sullivan family's a little unusual. Carmen's dad died in a tragic cooking accident and her mum needed help. So grandma Eleanor moved in to be the grandma in charge-ish, except grandma's just as silly as Carmen is. Okay, let's go and introduce ourselves to them. Wow, look at this house. I love kind of the modern architectural style of it. That is a beautiful house. It doesn't have a back garden, um, which is interesting, or it has a very small back garden. It's still a very nice house. Ooh, I'm loving the decor of this. What a perfect little family home. <gasps> love this lounge living area. Got a nice sort of dining kitchen space there and then some bedrooms so we've got like a bungalow here as well um i want to make a starter home actually so i'm kind of getting getting inspiration from looking at this to take into my making my starter home okay granddad's introducing himself to grandma and grandma's daughter Ooh. Was this child in the trailer as well? I want to say yes. Okay, that's cool. We've met them, had a little nosy at their house. I kind of want to check out what the shower looks like. I think they'll get mad if I use the shower. We do technically need a shower and I just want to see how the modern shower works because we don't have one in our house. They will probably get mad, but I'm just intrigued. Ooh, ooh, wow. I love that. It's a nice like modern power shower and we've been needing a new bath shower combo for a long time. So it's great to see this sort of style of one in the game as well. So that is really nice. And the final townie family are the Robles Ranos. Are they in relation to these? The Robles Rano family is a bit on the unconventional side, but being conventional is so boring, right? These folks are all about expressing themselves and their personality no matter what. Both parents are hoping that their unique ways will rub off and their slightly clingy daughter, Tala. With a little love, Tala is sure to grow into a confident and creative kid. Okay, so I wonder, are they related in somewhat to the people that are in the other neighborhood? I am intrigued. Oh my Lord, look at all of these beautiful family homes. We'll introduce ourselves to Dolly there and we've got Tala, she's a toddler. Wow. 
These family houses are so nice. I am loving the build buy actually that's come with this pack. We got a new piano as well. Well, we got a piano other than a keyboard that we've had for ages. This is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. I love this little baby proofing space here as well. Upstairs. A little space to put your toddler for a little while if you want to get things done and dusted. They've got a really nice garden space. A little tree house, although they haven't built theirs yet. Some gardening area. Oh, look, the gardening tools. I think that came with this pack too. And a nice little barbecue sort of bar area as well. Cool. I just wanted to, yeah, explore the neighborhood, explore the houses that come with each neighborhood and just see what the townies are like. I do really like the fact that the Sims are, you know, working with simmers and content creators to do the builds for the future packs. I just think it's really nice to see that in the game. And I think obviously before, when like it was just regular Maxis builds, it just was as good it wasn't as good and you get to see different styles coming into the game with you know different simmers adding bits on in um it's just nice to see it's really nice to see let's once again get granddad to teach lila to ride the bike and let's see if we can work on that with her i want you to invite hold on a minute what's this in your inventory Ooh, hold on brooke's baby print an adorable baby keeps keepsake from when brooke was a tiny tot this is so cute, but I feel really bad because this is the child that I deleted. If you've seen my first look videos, then you may know, but we had another infant just for the purpose of like showing the gameplay and showing different things. And I wanted to show how the babies now age up into infants because it's a new animation. And this is from that child. Um, and I deleted them because it got a little bit too much. But that's really cute that she's still got her handy print. That's so adorable. And I believe that is with the Growing Together pack as well. You know, know having things like that and having little memories of milestones and like the marriage certificate which on that note let's invite kyle around and i would like to showcase the new woohoo location as your sims are now able to woohoo in the treehouse this little fairy princess magical disneyland castle of a dream house they can now go into this enclosure in here and do some woohoos so there we go she's feeling happy from having a new best friend she's discovered a personality trait she's realized something new about herself good or bad and she's about to have learned something about her personality okay we're having some steamy firework type of woohoo going on here splinters she's dealing with splinters in unspeakable places that wood floor definitely should have been sanded down a bit more thoroughly oh no no i did not leave the child outside <laughs> whoops lila has a loose tooth she should expect to lose it soon wiggling the tooth and brushing her teeth can help speed up the process okay let's go ahead and brush our tea fees. This comes with the new growing together pack. So the ability for them to have loose teeth, as I mentioned at the start of this video, um, where when that tooth falls out, they do then get a certificate and they get some money. So she brushed her teeth, but I don't think it's come out. So she can then wiggle the loose tooth and the wiggly tooth doesn't really do too much. She can yank it out. I thought it would be cool if she could ask like her granddad or somebody to pull it out for her. Because obviously See, that's the thing that you know that people would do when they kids they they don't want to do it themselves so they see if a parent or somebody in their family can just yank and tie string round and just go Psh, slam a door and do that but um yeah i think she either has to pull it out herself or wiggling and brushing her tooth so in one of the first look videos i think i get got her to pull it out herself so i'm gonna let her just wait and see and see what happens oh sylvia had her first woohoo her first woohoo partner was kyle carlson so now in her life every time we'll go and look back at her milestones we'll see that she wooed kyle carlson she made a self-discovery i love how that is like part of her milestones under life and she made a best friend that's really cute i love this milestone feature thing it was in some of the previous sims games and it's about time now that it's come on into sims 4 oh lila lost her loose tooth she can wait for a new tooth to appear or can elect to fix her missing tooth okay so i think it just came out itself and now she'll be able to put it under her pillow and sleep tonight but let's go ahead and fix her missing tooth can we actually see that she's lost it I want to see you can sort of see down here that a tooth is missing but i'm trying to see if she'll open her mouth okay so she still is oh she just whacked her head she is still not properly riding it there we go so you can see that she lost her first 
Toofy! What a pretty angle of this child. But so I think we can just wait for it to grow in or we can fix it. Right, now we want to see the milestone of marriage. I think we do. We, will, we need to do that. So let's go and get her to propose. I think we'll be waiting here for quite some time for him to propose. He's just not giving the vibe of I'm, I'm going to propose to you. So I'm going to get her to do it and we will plan a wedding. Granddad is going to help Gordon explore some applesauce as he hasn't tried that yet. He has tried hummus, but he wasn't too sure about it. So let's try, actually, let's try yogurt. Now, these two are engaged. I want them to have a baby. And I know I previously got rid of a baby, but I just want to explore some of the things that we can now do, some of the events, such as the baby shower. Ooh, Gordon loved yogurt. It's always nice to discover a new favorite taste and texture. Oh, he's loving the yogurt. He's getting it all over the place. But that is one of the meals that he did enjoy. Granddad literally just walked in on them doing woohoo. Okay, how are we doing over here? Oh yeah, hey, she's putting her feet on the pedals now. She's definitely getting a lot better. She's kind of hobbling a little bit. Oh, I think I spoke too soon. But I mean, she's doing better. She's putting her feet on the pedals now, which she was not doing before. So it's all progression, isn't it? Okay, we are pregnant, which is fab. Let's go ahead and organize an event. So we can do a baby shower now. So our expectant parent is Sylvia and our guests are gonna be everyone that we now know. We don't need Gordon there because he's already part of the family. We'll add a caterer. And we are going to do it at the recreation centre. Okay, so the baby shower has been set up for 2pm today at the recreation centre. So we've got about a couple of hours and it's exciting. I've never seen this before, but I think why don't we also get the mum to organize a slumber party and the host is going to be Lila. Oh, okay. So we can organize it and then put her as the host. But for some reason, she as a child cannot organize it and we'll invite some of her little friendos. She doesn't have any friendos. Okay, it's a bit weird if we start inviting like full blown adults to it, but we'll invite Alexander Goff and these two toddlers and we're going to be having it at our household and the start time will be at 7 p.m tonight so then i can show you lot both of those events because i've not seen them before and uh we need to we need to have a little look um, okay let's just grab this cannon as well pop that there and let's all go here yeah so it starts in half an hour so i'm hoping they'll all just show up right there's so much to do in this rec center. You can work on like music-y things. There's computers. This is kind of like a skill building room. You've got a place to play that symbols game. Outdoor sort of space. There's a gym space over here. Area to put your, your toddlers and babies. Okay, the baby shower is going to begin. And our main goal is to talk about the baby. And we've got a gush about the new baby. Wait, what do you mean congratulating the expecting parent? I am the parent. Okay, all of our people that are coming to... The the baby shower are arriving. Okay, so we're gonna gush about the new baby, guess the new baby's future career. I didn't even know you could do that. But the main goal is, yeah, to talk about the baby. So we can worry about the baby's development. That's quite a deep one. It's a lot easier actually now to find things here as well. So for example, one of the goals is to tell funny stories. So we can just go go ahead and, oh my God, it's, it's Gordon's birthday today. Okay, here's another one of our guests, Celeste. So let's go and say hello to her. Her. All of our things just got cancelled. This is really hard. Okay, we're literally nearly halfway through the event and she's peeing her pants. She's not getting any of them done. Ooh, okay, so granddad can go and congratulate the expecting parent and buy a baby shower gift. Ooh, okay, so all of the toys, any other parent or any, not any other parent, but any other person at the baby shower can send the gift, basically. So they can buy things like potties or toys or a little play mats which is really fun so why don't we go and buy a toy okay so he's gonna give a little baby gift that's really cute oh baby shower gift has been placed in your inventory nobody else has given us a baby shower gift i'm noticing is there any way we can edit the slumber party okay i think we cancelled it because we're still here so i'm just gonna do this and change the event to start at 10 p.m so we've got a little bit more time okay she wants to use the celebration cannon so let's go and do that. Fire the baby shower cannon. The event is nearly done. And like I've told her to talk about the baby to different people multiple times and she's just not doing it. Or she's doing it, but it's kind of not counting. So let's at least try and get her to use the celebration cannon and see what that looks like. Baby shower unsuccessful. 
and the cannon didn't even work. Oh no. So she was happy from hosting a baby shower, but you wanted to add a little more oomph to your life with cannon fire. It looks like you've actually, all you've accomplished is a misfire. Oh. Did we get a milestone for that? Okay, we got engaged. Okay, we didn't get a milestone for the baby shower because it didn't go well. Oh, let's go home because we have got a slumber party happening in an hour. Oh dear. Yikes. I tried my best, but the baby shower just did not want to... Well, it worked, but it just, she just did not want to advance with her goal in it. Hopefully we'll have a better job at the slumber party, but I'm not going to speak too soon. Well, she goes and takes a shower. Let's Let's get granddad. Oh, hire Ignacio as a caterer. Let's do that. Granddad, you can get Ignacio to be a caterer so that he can make some foodies for um, the slumber party. Okay, let's start our slumber party. Wait, so there's no goals. Gather your pals together to stay up late, tell stories and eat snacks. Don't fall asleep first or you may get pranked. Let's go ahead and get some sleeping bags and let's pop them in here. Let's get Lila to tell a story about a fairy tale about a delightful dragon and she's going to tell that to Alexander Goff. I've just realized by inviting these two toddlers, we need to take care of them all night. Oh no. I didn't think of that. To be fair, I just thought I'd invite people to our slumber party. Are there toddler sleeping bags? Let me check. Can, can we like, do we assign it to a toddler? No. Like, can one of the adults put the, put this toddler in the sleeping bag? I don't think so. Okay. So she's telling a fairy tale to Alexander. I wonder if he can just sit in here though as well. Pillow fight. We'll try that as well and see if he gets on the sleeping bag. Okay. So they can have pillow fights on the sleeping bags as well. I wonder, like... Oh, she can place her tooth under too. I wonder, will the kiddos just automatically go in the sleeping bags? Or do we have to, like, tell them? I don't think we can. But one of the parents can tell them a story. So why don't we get Grandad to tell a story and let's do an adventure story. Oh, but he can only tell it to Lila. Is that because he needs to introduce himself to Alexander? Let's do that. Okay, so now that Granddad's introduced himself, he can tell stories to both Lila and Alexander. See, that's cute and all, like him telling the story. But like, can they not go and sit down here while he's telling that story? Like, I wonder how this works. She's been mesmerized by the story that Granddad told. That's kind of cute. That's interesting though. And it's nice that the kiddos can now stay over and stuff. But there's got to be more, more to explore there. God, Lila's got another loose tooth. Well, let's put this tooth under the pillow. I'm intrigued actually to see if they always get the same amount. Because the last time, well, the one and only time she's had a loose tooth before this one she just lost, she got 60 simoleons for it. So I'll be intrigued to see if she gets the same amount. Okay, so I don't know if I'm doing the slumber party wrong, but it feels like, like, will all the children automatically go in the sleeping bags? Because it doesn't look as though anybody can assign a sleeping bag to anyone or tell them where to go. And when you tell them a story, the kids just stand up rather than getting in the sleeping bags. So I don't know whether to just kind of leave it, fast forward time and just see what they do. Christopher Michelson is here. Is that because his child's here? Okay, maybe because his toddler's here, he's come along? Because I don't know why why else he'd be here. But obviously when you have a stay over, you can assign a bed for that sim to stay in. So like I could assign that to Alexander because at the minute he's also staying over. But even with the toddlers here being there for the slumber party, I can't just assign them that bed to sleep in or I can't even just assign... Alexander the sleeping bag. So I'm not 100% sure how that works. Okay, the one and final thing that I want to do today is I want to have a wedding between Kyle and Sylvia because I just want to see them get their little wedding certificate. So let's invite some of our little friendos, add a caterer, you can be a mixologist, and we'll add a musician. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do it at the recreation center because everything's there so it makes sense. And let's do it at 2 p.m. I'm also now wondering... Oh, Gordon just managed to stick his toe in his mouth. What a cute display of flexibility. Oh, well done. So I'm a bit confused. How can we do, like, the full-blown weddings if we don't have the Tartosa pack? Because I thought you had to have that pack to do the weddings. So let's just see how this works. Obviously, I don't know if we can get the cake and everything like we normally would. Um, but we'll play it by ear and see, just see what happens. Let's go with the flow. Kyle wants to get 
a new job. Yes, go for it. I don't know what career he's in with the game, but also the slumber party is still going. It's got an hour left and nobody but Lila has slept, which I just find really strange. Yeah, okay, so they need a cake and a wedding arch. I'm so confused. I feel like I've forgotten how weddings work in The Sims 4. How do we get a cake? Because do we need to make one? Because we can't go to Tartosa and get a cake. Let's get this wedding arch. And can somebody make a cake? Does it just have to be a regular white cake? I can't remember. You need to talk to guests for two hours. Oh, she's looking snazzy in her red dress. Hold on a minute. Kyle is looking very smart, I must say. The man looks good in a suit. I literally cannot talk to the guests if the guests aren't going to show up. What am I supposed to do? Let's just get married because I don't understand. We're feeling flirty. Everyone's feeling good, but I can't talk to the guests. Oh, the guests are showing up. Okay, let's not get married yet. Maybe I'm, I'm like, they're only an hour and 15 minutes late to my wedding. It's fine. I mean, it's not fine, but okay. Right, we've spoken to guests for two hours, but we can't get married. My fiance isn't around. He's over there carrying my child, I think. Is that my child? My child! Okay, let's all go here together and get married. Okay, this is the happiest day of my life and I'm feeling sad. Oh my God, my, my fiance just nearly slipped in the background. Where is she going? No, you're not holding the child. Why are you going to put him down? Go and get married. Stop this. Turn around. Why? What is she doing? What is she doing? No. Right, I'm resetting you. Stop this immediately and go here. Everybody go here together and get married. It's happening. It's happening. Wait, we don't have a cake. Did granddad make the cake? Oh, he did. Excuse me, you're standing in the way. You're standing in the way. Wait, we can call off the wedding at the aisle? Oh. <gasps> exchange vows we can exchange vows and do all these stuff and we can also call off the wedding which we're not gonna do get married to kyle oh this is so romantic we've had our kiss are we married now we're married yay a cake has been made so let's go and take the first slice add wedding cake topper oh my god she just peed on her son okay let's cut the cake together oh she just took the first slice on her own the sprinkles are going off this time what's it called it's not sprinkles confetti sprinkles is a similar thing though i suppose but at least this event is going a lot better than the baby shower is lila is doing a lot better on her bike well i thought she was as mentored by her granddad she did have one of her footsies on the pedal but now she's kind of back to back to normal but at least she's got granddad there cheering her on and they're ready to support her no matter how long it takes her to learn to ride a bike i mean it is real to be fair like it is adding that bit of realism into the game regular humans can't just get on a bike and instantly ride it so this is what I was talking about where I, I said to you a lot earlier that other Sims could initiate things. So now Michael Michelson is saying, I've been thinking about this a lot and wanted to ask if you'd like to live together. So what happens now if, so you can either say, I don't think it's the right time or you could say, I'd love that. How does this work for our family? Lila's learned to ride a bike. Yeah, look at her go. She can now ride around and travel on any child size bike. Smashed it. So it has taken her a fair while, but we will be finishing this video and she's finishing on a high with her learning to ride a bike. She can learn to ride a bike. There's nothing I can't do. She believes in herself and her confidence has now gone from beginning with this episode being quite low, quite neutral to being high confidence, which is fan dabby dozy. Now we did agree to move in with Kyle Michelson and I don't know what happens now? So under our milestones as well, as you can see, we got married and we should have a marriage certificate. There we go. This certifies that Carl Carlson and Sylvia Carlson, Kaysen, were unified in marriage. How do we do the moving process? Oh, congrats on your new marriage. Would you like to move in together now? Now, I don't know if that's doing that because we are now married and the event is now over or if that's doing that because Carl suggested it. But I do wonder what would have happened if he'd have just asked that out of the blue would it have come to this sort of page where we could then choose okay well we'll move in with you and leave granddad with the kids i'm joking or how it would have worked i'll be intrigued to know that but anyway we'll move them in so let's finish this video firstly i just wanted to show you these new collages that came with growing together where you can just drag pictures that are in your inventory and slot them into the collage frames and there's different collages that have small medium and large pictures so you can explore that with the new pack there is our certificate of marriage 
marriage as we saw and um, we can reminisce about our wedding by clicking on that marriage which i think is really really cool so she'll start thinking about the wedding and how it went and how she peed on her child you can also reminisce with different things like this so our children can reminisce about her first tooth that she lost about her painting that she did at school about this tooth fairy hero sticker oh she can't that's just a little a little decal thing but by losing teeth the tooth fairy will give you that sticker as well and yeah i love the way that like you can reminisce with all of these little memories to sort of add to the story and whatnot and the final thing that i want to show you is let's get lila to make a friendship bracelet and we're going to do a repeating pink hearts one and once she does that we're going to get granddad to make a friendship bracelet and his is going to be a gray blue and white diamond pattern so the two of them are there making their little friendo bracelets together lila has made hers and it's now in her inventory and it's ready to be exchanged with a special friend and granddad has made his but his looks a bit is his broken okay so granddad made one that is uh not so good i don't think he can he can he can give that one to anyone so let's try and make another one and this time we'll do a pastel orange blue and white diagonal stripe god he's not very good at this is he mum can you try making a friendship bracelet and seeing if that works okay she's made one so now we can exchange friendship bracelets with lila there we go what a wonderful token of a friendship this oh look this really means a lot to me friend so now they've got um mum's got the friendship bracelet made by her daughter and she's got the friendship bracelet made by mama lila and sylvia exchange friendship bracelets together they'll experience a one-of-a-kind bond that only the magic of friendship within these bracelets can provide there we go they didn't get any like cute little moodlets about it i don't think but that's really cute. Lila is getting stressed from a strict family dynamic. So granddad obviously has that, they've got that strict dynamic between them. So that's really interesting how that family dynamic can affect them as well. But I think that that is everything that I wanted to explore in our gameplay of the growing together. I know we added a little bit of infants in there, but I wanted to explore different things like the baby shower, you know, seeing the marriage certificates, all sorts of stuff like that. This pack is just fantastic and I am absolutely loving it so far. I hope Hope you lot enjoy it too let me know if you are going to be getting it down in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts on what you've seen things that i didn't cover in here i hope that i covered in my first look videos so if you haven't checked them out check out the first look at growing together and also the first look at the infants base game update because in some of those videos there were kind of crossovers so things that is new in the infants might have been shown in the growing together first look and likewise with that so don't forget to check them out as well and if you did enjoy this little game gameplay of the new pack hit that thumbs up button too and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more sims videos here from me take care look after yourselves and i'll see you in the next video taz out